Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Hey, boat. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Hoist the sail you got with A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use that to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Do you understand all that? Yes. Oh, one more thing. When you are out at sea with a few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I've marked the place we should currently be heading for you on your sea chart. Let's get my... Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let it carry us e to the east. Actually, before we go... I just realized. No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you. Shut up. Is he not here? Wow, another bottle. Huh? Well, it'd be sad to see me first go, but what are you gonna do? Oops. Ah, whatever. Wow, that's how. Can I, like, downvote him? Nope. You... Shame on you. That's the problem. Is stuff, stuff like that you can never fully moderate. Like, they'd have to have hundreds of people dedicated to just, like, looking at every message that filters through. And Lord knows Nintendo doesn't have the manpower for that. Uh, I'm not really surprised. The second one I find, and that's what it is. Not surprised at all. God, it's so slow. Oh, I can't even get that yet. We actually I believe that island has something. Of is that island close or far? It's hard to tell. Ooh. Here's easy money. Oh, hard to see. Another tingle, that tingle bottle. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, these guys are here. Don't they give you something? Yeah. Mighty fine boat you've got there, bub. You must be searching for treasure on the sea floor too, aren't you? <laughs> you won't get any from us, not bub, not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. Maybe some other kinds, maybe some other things that I've never heard of. You know... With all the weak island dwellers who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub, I'll tell you what. As one treasure unto another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nar. Just grab it. Oh, treasure chart. Thank you. First, open your map on the Wii U gamepad, then compare the island charts on the right with the treasure charts on the left to see where the treasure lies. If you just pause up, plus to pause the game, you can take your sweet time pouring over the charts. After all, make hay. After all, haste makes waste. After that, all you need to do is use the same thing we use to haul up treasure. One of those grappling hooks that the Rito tribes folk of Dragon Roost Island use. Ah, those grappling hooks. Nothing pulls up stuff like those things. All right, little treasure buddy. Best of luck to all of us. Bye. Can I, like... Can't I... Yeah, I can cruise. This is, uh... What the heck is the name of this island? Pawprint Isle? Yeah, I think it is Pawprint Isle. It has things of interest on it. As soon as I find the... There it is.
Go in. <laughs> so dramatic. Bad juju. We are too jelly. Or rupee. I guess I should use the. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really help that much in a place like this, but why not? Is there anything interesting here? Or is it just money? Oh, two paths, eh? Oh, I can't go that way because it needs a bomb. That also needs a bomb. No. Oh, there we go. Chew jelly. Red chew jelly. I can make a red potion out of it. I love this word. This is my favorite design for chew chews. These weird little... Ooh, lots of items. Thank you. Nice! I knew there was a heart... Well, I didn't know. I had a strong feeling there was a heart piece here. Also, these weird boogery things hanging from the ceiling. I don't think they appear anywhere else in the game except this one little cave. Boy, are they weird. Booger rocks. It's not rocks. It's not rockets. Snockets? Snocks? It's weird. It's almost like there's glass on the outside. In that dome. Covering the dome. Oh, another bottle. God, they're just pouring in now. My precious. Oh, okay. That's coming up. MZB? Sure. Oh! Just what I was looking for. Come here, dude. Dude! Slow down so I can get on your ship. Wow, that is a good picture on the side. And this, ladies and gentlemen, was the introduction of Beetle. Oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle's shop ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. You have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Give me the bait bag. Yes, please. Okay. Um. Oh, member's card, right. Okay. 30 points. Alright, give me a hoi pair. Or a hyoi pair. Yes, yes, thanks to you. Alright, let me get three hoi pairs just to have, just in case. These come in handy in a couple spots. Boy, your mouth does not move, huh, Beetle? Some bait. Yes, yes, thanks to me. More bait, please. Let me get... Let me just get one more. Okay. Bye, Bye Beetle. Thank you for the... Food. Right, now if I'm really good, I can land in my boat. Yeah. Where? Oh, we're not where we were when I got in. Huh. No, Link. I wanted you to get out the other side. God, look at how the ocean churns here. And up and up and up. Oh, look, pink bacoblins. Oh, 
I thought I could eat, take their telescope. Hmm, there's some rupees up here, huh? Oh! Yep, down to the briny deep. Oh! Down to the briny deep for him. Easy, Link. We don't want to jump off. Rubies? Nice. That was worth murdering them. Alright, what's over there on that? Oh, give me that yellow rupee. Give me the yellow rupee. Don't go back in the water. Yeah, it's him. Eh, I'll leave that guy alone. There's no nothing I get for killing him. Here we go, dragon roost. Seagulls. Seagulls. <laughs> oh, why not, right? I want the bottle. There, on the horizon. That is our destination, Link. Dragon Roost Island. God, Beetle, you beat me here. Look at all the bottles. High top of this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request him from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Just wait a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of... Oh, I didn't see it in your mouth. Of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct in three quarters time. Do not touch eh. Just try matching the rhythm by tilting eh, eh. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is four quarters time. What happened? Oh, <laughs> silly me. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct it with it in six quarters time by tilting that. You do well to remember that. I got the most important item in the game. Or the second most. Alright. What the heck? Oh, that was a crab. Just like in the water there. Weird. There's a bottle. There's a bottle there and a bottle there. I get that. If I see another one that's not quite kosher, I, maybe I'll stop looking at these messages. I'm off with this game. Zerods. Windfall. Alright, that's... Okay, it's just... It's nothing. You do nothing. Hmm. Hello, little crab. Goodbye, little crab. Oh, well, I've got the Wind Waker. We might as well test it, right? There appear to be marks that indicate specific directions. Uh, oh, I have to actually equip the... Or not? Oh, it's up in the deep pad. That's right. They changed it. You learned the Wind's Requiem. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. 
The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing. Or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken. And now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. Away. I like him. He reminds me of like Spirited Away characters. Or I guess just Ghibli characters in general. I watch Ghibli movies now. They're so good. Just like the, you could. It's there's something weird. It's hard to marathon Ghibli movies for me because like they're so sentimental and emotional. It's like you almost need a break between them. Blast a path. Wow, I didn't think I would clear that. Oh, I could just use the bomb there. Eh. Look at all this moolah. Nice. Me up. I want that money. Look at my well. I guess you can't see my wallet because my head is obscuring it. But it's 194. If you were curious. Come on, Link. What you doing? Just keep on sidling. Keep on sidling, please. Uh. I'm okay. Is there any point to doing that? Hmm. Hey, Beetle. Dang, it's hard to get the angle right for that. Anything? No? Hmm. I feel like this isn't doing much. I think there's this boulder out here, but you can't reach it in time with bomb flowers. You have to come back with your own bombs. Either way, I've got this. Hey! I've got access. Hello, mailbox. Oh, it's you! I think your name's Quill? Link? Link, is that you? It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay! I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us read who are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. How nice and enticing. Uh, just a second, real quick. Are you sitting on anything important? Dumb bird. Card rock. Eh, money. Eh, money. Hey. 
We get to meet the Ritos. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Falu's anger? Actually, that's probably not how this guy would talk. He's much more slow paced, probably. Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit of Alu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scares, scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As chief of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Okay. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his wor fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Komali, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak, in some ways. And in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yet. Yeah. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. Is that the last item I need? The last bag I need? We've got a delivery bag. Finely crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postmen everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items selected on the blah blah blah. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Fine. Alright, well, we're in Rito Village. If this really counts as a village, it's just like a giant post office. Either way, we'll continue this in the next episode. So thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll the next stuff up real soon, but until then, bye.